Hello, and um, this is Egwet Tootie, this Francisco here from Egwet Tootie, and right now I will be showing you how to add a custom sign up form to your Wix website using Velo by Wix. Yeah, Velo using Velo using code. Yeah, coding in Velo. Yeah, coding in Velo. We're gonna successfully made a custom sign up form so for that we will need to go to the editor of the Wix website that we're building right now first of all let's turn in velo mode right let's turn on developer mode so that we get there some velo tools um that will uh that that we will do our custom sign up form with now we're gonna usually like select where we want to add the custom sign up form to i'm just gonna add it there to a new page i'm just gonna call that page right there sign up And first, I'm just gonna, and now let's build a custom sign up form. So, um, I'm just gonna start by adding a little text that I'm just gonna put like sign up there so that the people know that they're usually in the sign up, um, page, right, on your website. So, I'm just gonna put this to robot -o -bald. I'm gonna put that right here. So I'm gonna put this like that. And I'm gonna put this like that. And then now I'm gonna, um, you know, we're gonna usually like add there some input elements so that people usually can fill out this sign up form. So we will go over to add, we will go there to input and select any text input. So I'm just gonna select this little, um, text input there. I'm gonna put it there and then, uh, now the, um, I'm usually gonna, and now this text input that I just put, I'm going to put it to be the email input. Um, now I'm going to duplicate this and now this other one will be the password input. So this one, I'm just going to change the name, the place holder text to e email. I'm gonna select the, put the type to email, right? So that we know that it is a valid email that the people are entering there. I'm just gonna put there that this field is required. Now with the email team, we can usually design it in many ways. If we go to layouts, we can put it there in many ways. If we go to design, we can put it there in many ways. If we go to like background, we can put uh, many backgrounds there. Um, we can put the borders, the corners, the shadow and text. Um, I'm just gonna show you that with the email and not with the password because it is just the same thing. You can even like add animations to it as well as in text. You can add animations first and on this one you can add all of those things too now this one i'm gonna put password right and now that says for security reasons this input field is forbidden please use a different input field name so for that we just need to put the type to password 
and now it will still be saying that. So we're usually gonna type password again so that it gets that we're putting a password because we want all that to be secure, right? Because all this information that the people put will be sent to your to your um, Wix dashboard, right? But not usually not all of them. Jo all of them, but the only one that wouldn't be sent to you is the password, right? O all of them except the password. So, um, yeah. Um, and if we put the type to be like text or anything, it wouldn't like let you because then it will usually send the password to you. Right, and we don't, uh, and that's just like you're stealing passwords. And um, maybe you're not even stealing, maybe you don't even pay attention to that. But it still, Wix wants everything to be really secure, right? Um, if you want, you can add their or input there, but I just added the email and password one as an example, right? And um, now we're usually gonna add a submit button, a button so that people can usually submit this form. So we're gonna go to add. We're gonna go to button. We're gonna go down. We can there select any buttons. The only one that we're not gonna select are any pay buttons or PayPal buttons, right? We want just an, uh, uh, or iTunes button or upload buttons or document buttons or icon. I, I mean, yeah, icon buttons you can select, yeah. Just, um, any of these buttons down there, you cannot select them because if not, it wouldn't work. The only one that you can select are the team buttons, the text and icon buttons, and the icon buttons. That's it. I'm just gonna add a right here as an example a team button. And I'm gonna change, um, like the text I'm gonna put there um um sign up and now that we have Finish doing this, we usually have to do some coding so that it really works because now the people just fill out this and it doesn't even like get to you and it's not even like marked as a member or anything, right? So for doing that, I'm just gonna open the coder. I am gonna maximize it because I like to maximize it, but you can put it however you want, just have the code open. And, and now what you will need to do um, is go to this little link there. That link will be in the description of this video. In that link that I did there, you can find a code that we will copy and paste there. So, um, let's just copy it. And now let's go to the Wix website that we're building right now, to the editor of the Wix website that we're building right now. And now let's usually paste the code. Now it, this red dot will appear here. Now that is what, now why does those red dots appear there? Because it is incorrect, right? And why would I do this video the code is incorrect? No, it's not that it's Correct. It's just that we have to just change some things there. So this thing there is usually um the the um this thing that says that, that I did or sign up button. That sign up button is usually this button, and the idea of that button we put button one. So you have to put it in any one that you put to change it. You just click on it, and then. Uh, put the coding thing and then we sh can change the ID there. So let's just change it to what it says there. And to sign up button. 
Now we can click on it and now red red dot disappear. This thing there that says hashtag email um that thing is that email thing I set to input one so we're gonna change it to hashtag email. Now we click on it and now it works right that one the only one that does not does not work for now is like the password one the only input thing there uh, or bottles or whatever is the password one so let's go to the password one and let's put change it to password you can change this to whatever you want but like for example if you change this to to that then you have to change that to that also that tinder the same with the email and the sign up button because because if not it wouldn't work i'm just gonna put password because it's like a clear example that i can give now we click on it and the red dot disappears now um this thing there that says which location to this page so when the people click usually like the sign up button what page will it redirect them to i'm just gonna i just put their example page right but you're gonna put the page but for doing that we have to create a page so i'm gonna just create one called example page right and now we're gonna go to the SEO Google office and now this thing that it appears there that's what we have to put that oh yeah let's just go to the other page right just copy that and then delete that little example there that appears and now we are just gonna put ours right Now let's just save the changes of the of what we just did and then you just publish them and that's it right be sure to like test them because so that you know right um if it works and um, that's very important for me and um, publish done And now, when you have done that, we usually have to add like during in like the uh, like the hair, I will say, like a link for the people usually to sign up. So we're gonna go there to bottom, and I'm just gonna put your sign up. Just gonna change your the design and gonna put that like that. And you're just gonna put that like that. And I'm gonna go through to the design, customize design. And I'm gonna put like the text a little bit bigger, um, font size like that. And bold and italic. Put, save it, publish it. And that's it. You have successfully done a sign up form to your Wix website using Velo by Wix. But um, if anything doesn't work, then put a comment on this video uh, or um, say, say what was your problem. Or you can also say what was your problem on my discourse or link in the description of this video. And you can also um, email me at eggweb 2 com. okay? Um, saying what was your problem. And well, um, now that we have successfully done that, well, I don't know if successfully because maybe you have a problem. Um, bye, this was all the video.